Aloha, I'm Jake Shimobukuro, and welcome to another season of Mele Ae Raise the Music. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, this show continues to support our local up and coming artists. And tonight we have three exceptional artists that are going to be performing and sharing their melee and song and story with all of you. So, coming up, we have Ella Malarkey, we have Maka Ala Perry, and we have Trish Nale. You're ready for a big treat tonight. I'm ready. I'm stoked. Let's get to the music. All right, let's do it. Aloha, Ella. Thanks for being on the show. We're so excited. Oh, thank yeah, you so、great. much for having me. It's so great to meet you, and I'm honored. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I really want to hear about your, your music, you know, your writing, because I know you started out as a poet, but you know, I know you've always loved music. So, how did, the, how did it all come together for you? Well, I realized that、uh, the poetry that I've been writing.、Um, Had potential to be a song. I originally spent years writing thinking that my style wouldn't suit a song, but I think that came about purely just out of like the need to create something and to express what I was feeling at the time in a form that was really close to me. And、uh, music has always been an outlet for me, like listening to it. And so I kind of had this moment like, wait. I can express myself not through other people's words, but through my own as well in、yeah. this particular way that's so special. I know you said that this is your first time being on TV, but you're no stranger to the stage, right? Because you had a lot of experience doing theater. Can you tell us a little、mm-hmm. bit about that? Yeah, I'm actually currently in school for theater.、Oh, um, nice. Yeah, I, I began being involved in musical theater at about nine years old.、Mm-hmm. And I think that was something that really helped fuel my love for music and for singing and performing.、Um, I caught like, the bug at a very young age where I was like, I need to be on stage and just getting out there. And it's my favorite feeling in the world. You know, I know you have your sister here, right? Your、yes. sister's in studio. Hi, Valentina. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes,、yeah, so、I know you have that support from your family. The other thing I want to Uh, I want to mention is because this, this song is called Smoke Your Lips, right? I want, can you tell us a little bit about it? Because I know it's、um, you know, just kind of like how the, the lyrics came about and the music, how you put the music to it. It's actually an adaptation of a poem that one of my dear friends wrote. And so they presented it to me like, I think this would make a really great song. And I was like, wow, I've never worked with somebody else's words before when I'm writing a song. But I was able to kind of Pick it apart and Frankenstein it together into a song using some of my own words and my own interpretation of it about giving up your vices for somebody because they've become your vice. You know, they're your addiction now and they kind of、oh. replace the need for those other things because you need them so much. I can't wait to hear it. So, thank yeah, you so much. I'm looking forward to it. All right, well,、uh, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Ella Malarkey. Bye. Lips, but 
so many different jobs to make everything run smoothly. Things that I didn't even know required people to take care of them. And so I was just like, oh man, this is so intense and so exciting. So, so, so exciting. Aloha Maka'ala. Thank you so much for being on our show. We're so excited to hear you. Aloha. Thank you so much for having us. We're really excited to be here. Oh, thank you so much. Can you introduce your guitar player? Of course. Here? This is Chad Kawakami. He's my good friend and talented guitarist. We met about two years ago playing music at local spots around the island pre-pandemic. And today is actually the first day that we're sort of reconnecting and it feels really good to be back and playing oh, music. Yeah, I heard you during sound check. You guys yeah. sounded so awesome. Awesome. Thank and you. It seems like you guys were having a great time. Ah, yeah. You. But you've been so busy. I know you don't, you know, I know you're very humble, yeah. <laughs> but Chad was filling me in a little bit on the things you've been up to. But great. I mean, Miss Hawaii, yes. Miss Hula, right? You've been, uh, you were, you won the talent contest and you yes. were third runner up. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, can you tell us about those experiences? Right, of course. Yeah. So. I know being stuck at home in quarantine, there's nothing going on. So when all of these amazing opportunities came up, I knew I had to take them. So in May, I competed in the Miss Hawaii competition. I got third runner up and I won the talent award. I sang At Last by Etta James. Yes! And then just a few weeks ago, actually, we got back from Hilo. I competed in the Miss Aloha Hula competition. I got the Olelo Hawaii award as well as third place. So yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so That's much. Incredible. Yeah. I also overheard your working on a documentary too. Yes, so it's still in the works. Uh -huh. um, it's planning to come out next year in the fall time, but okay. it's a documentary that centers around hula and the Hawaiian culture and how it looks like after the pandemic and what it's gone through and just our halal's journey to Mary Monarch. Oh, that's, that's yeah. amazing. It's wow, really, congratulations yeah, on good. all of that. Thank you so much. And then you're an amazing songwriter. <laughs> like I heard I heard your song during Soundcheck. It's called Thank Eternity, you. right? Yes, Eternity. Can you tell me, tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, of course. So I wrote this song a few years ago. I was in a Hawaiian ensemble class at UH West Oahu and we had to write a song and you know I really didn't know what to write about but the first thing that came to mind were my parents because that's the easiest thing to write about they're my best friends and honestly I wouldn't be the person I am today without them and so I just wanted to write this song to show my love and appreciation for them we're just so grateful to have you on of the show. Of course, I'm so grateful to be here. This is amazing. I have never seen such a production. I mean, oh, it's no. really an amazing experience. Thank you. So we're so excited to have you on the show and can't wait for everyone to hear you. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome singing Eternity, Maka Ala Perry and Chad Kawakami.
Today, I felt so comfortable. I felt welcomed. Everyone had such a positive energy. They were so accommodating, and it was truly a spectacular production. I've never been a part of something like this. It was so cool to see all of the different lights, the camera people, the audio. It was a really fun and great experience, and I'm super excited to share it with everyone. Aloha, Trish Nale. Thanks so much. Welcome to Mele. Ai, it's so awesome to have you. Thank you for having us. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Oh, no, thank you. And your band, can you introduce your bandmates here? So, my bandmates here on keys, we got Penabu. Behind us on drums, we got Whitney. And to my left, we got Stevie. Awesome. Yeah, well, this is, I know this is.、Uh, Pretty amazing, right? Because、uh, Whitney is your husband,、right? yes. and Steve is your brother. He's my best friend. Oh, your best、yes. friend, yeah. And then we, Penna uh, we is, all know, yeah. Penna is my producer. Yeah, and it's, it's so awesome. I mean, you know, Penna's dad was like one of my mentors growing up, too, so it's、That's、awesome、great. to see him here. But, you know, to have you on the show, you know, sharing. Your song, you know, the first thing I want to ask you about is because I noticed when you all walked in, I mean, you had this amazing vibe, and I noticed your jerseys, right? I keep on trotting, and I know it's kind of like a mantra for you. So, can you tell me a little bit about that? So, I keep on trotting, I, it was kind of born when、uh, I suffered from mental illness, and it's like I've gone through a lot of trauma growing up, and I just, you know, there's something that I wanted to tell myself every day is like, Keep trying, Trish. You know, even when the days are rough, there'll be better days in the future. So that's how I was born, and here we are. You're so right. I know we were talking a little bit earlier, you know, about just the importance of, you know, raising the awareness of mental illness, right? Because, I mean, it's so important. And it's so awesome that you're just inspiring, you know, people and encouraging them to come through like how you have come through. You know, I also noticed, I, I know there's a story behind it, I want you to tell it, but I noticed the number seven on your jersey. Can you tell, tell us what that represents? Yes, so I have the number seven because I have recently entered Miss Hawaii Plus pageant and I was awarded with the 
title of Miss Congeniality wow. Plus 2021. So I chose to put number seven on my jersey as a symbol to my sisters that I love them and I hope they're doing well because we didn't really get a chance to celebrate um, right after the pageant because a lot of people have traveled and there's a lot of things going on. Um, so I have number seven is stuck. Well, earlier, you know, uh, Panabu was telling me that you've written so many amazing songs and, you know, he's been producing your your upcoming album. Yeah, Can you tell me about the, the new CD? So my upcoming um, EP, uh, a couple of the songs on there speaks heavily upon um, different things that I thought when I, I'm struggling through my mental illness, just from someone perspective of someone who suffers from any type of illness. Well, thank you so much. It's such a thrill to have you here on Mele Ae. So uh, I can't wait to hear you perform your song. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm thank excited. You. Thank you so much, yeah. So here's I Keep On Trotting by Trishna Lay. All right, let's get it.
feel like Melia is important because it's not just a small scale of a platform. It's a really big one and everyone who watches TV, all ages will see you. And it's really important for an uh, artist like me because I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't go nowhere. It, it'll definitely help me gain a, a bigger audience. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Mele Ae, Raise the Music. We want to thank you for watching. want to give a big shout out to the entire crew here at Studio 1122, all of the artists who performed, and also all of our sponsors for making this show possible and for bringing our music community closer together. If you know anyone out there that would like to be on the show, please encourage them to go see our website. It's olelo.org slash auditions. All right, well, I'm going to leave you with a song of my own. And to help me, I have a good friend of mine. This is Jackson Waldhoff on the How's bass. Going? He's a graduate of the Mele program, so talented, so humble. And I think that, um, you know, it really is an honor to share the stage with you. Thanks for having me here. It's excited. Yeah? How'd you get into music? Well, so in high school, I moved here from Japan and I couldn't speak English. So I thought music was a kind of cool way to get with people. And uh, that's why we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, are you ready to play? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So we're going to play a song called 6-8 featuring Jackson Waldhall. All right.